Hi guys welcome to my channel. Paul has two unblockable moves in Eve. First is back to one. First hit on counter ensures second. You can delay for a second in between. And on full hold and counter that is the highest damaging Paul launcher. And without hold also. On blocking the second hit is minus 12. Same in heat but does more chip damage. Without delaying second hit has no chances of sidestepping. But if you delay second hit can take sidestep easily. Or full delay more easy. Full delay second hit is safe and does more chip damage. But delaying hit can be interrupted even with 15 frames. From backside it does not launch even on counter. But in heat it does. Now see down 1 2. It has same delaying system. On counter 2 hit combo. But not with full delay. On block it is minus 17. But due to pushback need a long range attack to punish. It depends on character if they have a good punish for that or not. With a little delay it remains same but increase pushback. And in full delay it becomes safe and does more pushback and chip damage. In heat it becomes minus 13 on block. But due to pushback it is hard to punish that. And does even more chip damage. Near wall easy to punish. And on hit with delay or not it gives long range wall splat like death fist. And taking side to the second hit is easy. In delay or without. Now both these hits on full hold in heat takes opponent to minus 12 frames. And you can do back 1 2 or down 1 plus 2 from here. Back 1 2 does 1 point more damage than down 1 plus 2. On wall this becomes more dangerous as you can do high damaging combos from there. Same with down 1 2. And if you in heat you can use heat dash 2 to do more damage. Now if you got wall splat after a combo or direct. And you got heat. You can use that on wall and then back to one full hold if opponent wakes up quickly you can get a good chance to get wall splat again. If he does not wake up he will still get the second hit. But there is a problem. You see sometimes due to some wall conditions it does not connect. Even if you take side first it will not. And if opponent is aware of that he can take side step to counter that easily. If we do down 1 2 instead it will not do the same thing like back 2 1 as opponent cannot wake up straight quickly. For that I suggest what if we do only back 2 and let opponent wake up. Then use down 1 2 for unblockable. As down 1 2 will not let take side step. As down 1 is faster than back 2. 14 frames now it was 15 in Tekken 7. And it will not let do even 1 2 to interrupt. As in this match I saw opponent wakes up quickly all the time. So I used that setup and it worked perfectly there. If opponent does not block it is more dangerous. You can also use that in open ground after screw in a combo. It will give you more opportunity to attack. And if he does not wake up good damage and you still got some heat left. After that you can also go for 1-2 as they will give you plus 8 frames you can use to get counter hit. And if you got launcher from back. Then using back 2-1 can give you a launcher or demo man opportunity. As it was used in Tekken 7. At wall break using that can give a good combo opportunity. 
So that's for today thanks for watching. Goodbye.